Hi everybody, it's Jess. Welcome to Threaded Social Club. I am in Phoenix for Posh Fest. Um, and if you're new to the channel, we make videos about selling pre-owned clothing on Poshmark and eBay. And I went on a little trip to Phoenix for Posh Fest. Hey, I can't wait. I went to the bins today before I checked into my little hotel. It's actually not a hotel, it's more like an apartment. It's really super cool, it's called Sonder. But it's like, it's like a little apartment, it's got a little kitchenette, it's got a huge screen TV. It's really neat. It's decorated really cool. There's a bedroom. I love it. So if you're ever looking for an alternative to a hotel, check out Sonder. They're in lots of different cities. Check it out. So anyways, let's get into my Phoenix bins haul. So first thing, I wasn't super impressed with the Phoenix bins. It was smaller, it was super crowded, and the way they change bins is a lot different than they do in Denver. Um, in Denver, they change a few bins at a time, like a few rows or one row. Here, they would do like half of the store at a time. And so then everybody would have to be in one half of the store and it was super crowded and crazy. And I didn't really find a whole lot of great stuff there. I did find some things and I'm gonna share them with you in a minute, but overall, I guess I would have to go again. Maybe I'll go again on Sunday, I don't know. We'll see, but uh, my first impression was not great. But let me show you what I got. So the first thing I got was, this is a uh, rom uh, jumper, jumpsuit. It's long pants, they're, um, you know, uh, gathered at the bottom, and it's like a halter top. It's really cute. <laughs> it's um, from Lulu's, which I've we've sold before. Um, yeah, and I apologize, I don't have Yash here to do all the numbers, and I haven't even looked up comps yet. I just grabbed what I could and and I'm doing this quick little video just to show you guys what I got on the fly. So I don't, I haven't looked up comps, but I'm confident that we can get at least $24 out of this. Super cute, Lulu's. The next thing, oh, I got this. Um, so I was, I, was, I was obviously looking for the vintage t-shirts, the single stitches. I didn't find a whole lot, but I found this um, vintage No Fear t-shirt. It's got a little detail there. No Fear. It's long sleeve. So hopefully, it, it's a big size too. It's a large. Well, it's a lot bigger. Feels like it's a lot bigger than a large. But hopefully we'll be able to get at least 18 out of that. The next thing I found are these Jordan sweatpants and they're, I picked them up because of the cool logo here, flight. Somebody will buy these for $18 at least, I'm sure. But they're in pretty good condition too. I found a Brooks Brothers. It's very wrinkly. The those the Phoenix bins were a lot dirtier than our regular bins too. Like the clothes were all filthy. Like I don't know how people do anything with those clothes. Like there were a few things I had to pass up on because they were either super damaged or super dirty. Anyways, this is a Brooks Brothers. Um, sport coat 38 and it's wool size 38 and it's made of wool and it's made in Italy it's modern it's got two buttons it's really nice so 
So I think we can get probably at least 30 out of that. This is a cute little tank top that I found. I think I'm going to keep it for myself though. It's just got birds and, and like tree branches on it. I like it. Oh, this was interesting. So I found some vintage Jabot jeans. If you remember, they had this little tag right on the fly there. But I grabbed them because they were, it says sample, not for resale. So I'm wondering if the style is even really out there at all. It's got like a huge Jerbo thing right here. I have no idea how m oh, it's at the bottom too. I have no idea how much these will go for. I'll have to look up the comps later and let you guys know, but those were pretty interesting. The, oh, this was a, this is a single stitch vintage. The few, the proud, the Marines t-shirt. We'll be able to get at least 18 for that. This is a vintage, it's called Fire Los Angeles. It's made in the USA and it's um, this like, <laughs> it's really Weird. It's a long sleeve, but it's got the cutout shoulder, it's got pearl buttons, and it's like a crop top. It's got a lot going on. And it's um, like cut out the back. So there's a lot going on here, but it's really interesting. And it's vintage. And oh, it has a collar too. I'm trying to like put it together so I can kind of show you what it would look like but oh and it ties in the front too I think this is gonna gonna sell well it's got all kinds of things going on here so anyways should be able to get at least 18 for that this is a, a crocheted like kimono uh, long sleeve it's really nice it's called for love and liberty I'm not sure I haven't looked it up yet I've never seen anything like that so I grabbed it it's in, in good condition oh I grabbed this too I think I was gonna look it up before I left but there was so much going on that and I had just gotten I, I got into Phoenix at like 7.30. I waited for my rental car for like an hour and then I went straight to the bins. And by the time it was like, I don't know, like 12.30, I was like, I'm starving and I need to get out of here. Because it was crowded and hot and I was tired. Anyways, um, it's called Allen Allen. It looks like it's um, linen. I don't know if it is or not, but it's like that kind of feel. Yeah, it's 100% linen. It's a cute skirt. I'll have to look up the comps later, but probably 15 to 18, depending on the brand. I'll have to look the brand up. Oh, this was, um, this is a cute little like sweater type tank top and it's Margaret O'Leary. And I've gotten this before at our other bins, so I grabbed this one just because I knew I recognized the brand and it's cute. So hopefully at least 18 on that. This is uh, Texas Longhorns, I think. It's the I think it yeah Texas Longhorns. It's the right color. It doesn't say Longhorns anywhere, but it doesn't have anyone's name either. It just says 25. But it's a Nike team jersey. So. Ooh, this, this is pro this is, I've never seen this before. It's called number four EXP jeans. Maybe it's Express. I don't know. I have to look it up. But this is like a wool blend. 
wrap skirt and it's really it's really cool it's got um, this cool button different colors and stripes there it's really neat um, I think we can probably um, get a little bit more for that maybe 30 bucks This is Sarah Taylor. I've never heard of this brand either, but it's a 100% silk blouse. I grabbed it. I figured I would try it. It's like a crop top. It's really cute. These are kind of fun. I, gra I was grabbing things that I normally wouldn't because I was there and I'm like, I'm not going out of here empty handed, so. This is Lawrence collection. They're like stretchy like pants. They're pleated in the front. They're vintage. They're fun and funky. I thought I would try them. They're made in the USA too, so we'll try those. Oh, I forgot about this. This is a Yves Saint Laurent purple button up. I have to uh, verify the authenticity, but I think it's, I think it's good. It's in good condition. It's wrinkly. It needs to be steamed, but I'll check that later. Oh, and then these are English laundry men's pants. We've picked these up before. Just, so, they're like, Gray. They have a little pattern on them. Yeah, also a lot of the stuff that we were going through was also had been in the store before too, so. So that's all I got from the bins. I did go to the Value Village just because I was like disappointed in my haul. So I went there and they did have some good stuff, but they picked through everything and I saw this really cool Cowboys um, vintage starter jacket, the satin kind, and they wanted $50 for it. And I was like, I don't think so. But they had a bunch of that kind of stuff there that I normally would have bought, obviously, if it was priced right. But uh, I passed up a lot of stuff. But I did find this. I paid up a little bit for it, but it's pretty cool. It's a vintage Reebok um, track suit. It's the jacket and it's bright yellow and the pants. So, and it's super vintage. It's like from the 80s. So, that's probably the coolest thing I found. So, I had to get it because it was $12.99 for the whole suit, but it's cool. Oh, and I also found these weird random shoes. So, like, <laughs> they're knit on the top, but um, they're called Arco Pedico. And I looked them up, and these, I didn't see any exact comps, but they go for, like, 30 bucks, so... I paid $7.99 for these, so hopefully we'll be able to get at least 30 out of them. We'll see. They're like brand new, so. So that was my haul. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more from Threaded Social Club, go ahead and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video. Next time I'll have Yash with me or Olivia. Or both. Who knows? Alright, thanks guys.